Inspiring greatness, that's what I'm trying to touch on when I'm playing the violin, when I'm interpreting Beethoven or Mozart. I'm dealing with unbelievable greatness when you think about the, uh, these sorts of geniuses. And I'm trying to sort of do justice. I'm trying to transmit that to an audience. Playing the violin is a very complex thing because of course on the one hand you've got the technical, almost athletic side of the mechanical mastery that you need to be able to deliver the sound. But in terms of creating something special, that is something very internal and I think that what makes great music making is a sort of an honesty from the inside. It's, you're trying to connect with something within yourself that is integral to who you are and that's what music means to me is moments where you can have absolute clarity in, uh, in who you are and how you express yourself. When you're going out on stage, let's say, to play a great violin concerto, or you, you know, you're, you've got a whole job of work to do under pressure, there's a, a mental aspect that you need to prepare yourself for. You need to be focused and sort of, as it were, undistracted in a way that you can get through it as well as do something um, meaningful. And uh, if you start thinking about what's coming next or thinking about how you're going to be doing it, it can be a real disaster. So, you know, it has to be instinctive and you have to be yeah, embodying it to the, to the sort of, you become a sort of, you personify the music. When I first got in the, the Rolls-Royce Wraith, I was, uh, you know, amazingly impressed by the, you know, the driving, the smoothness and the kind of, there's something very kind of indulgent about sitting in this sort of luxurious cabin and hardly hearing anything at all, but having this sort of immense power, you know, right in front of you in this beautiful long bonnet. But also just admiring the car from the outside, I've, you know, there's a kind of majesty. Yeah, that is inspiring to me, you know. I mean, I think that's something that's always kind of uh, turned me on. I mean, I, I'm very lucky I play an amazing violin. It's almost 300 years old, uh, Guarneri del Gesù. For me, when I pick it up, it's sort of the key to trying to go somewhere that is transcendental. It should be a real extension of my body so that I'm sort of transcending the physical aspect of playing the violin and just expressing directly.